Okay, everyone, this chapter's problem set is going to be in Python from Terminal. Most of the other times we're going to be doing this from a Jupyter Notebook. Uh, however, because this is an intro one, and I assume that maybe some of you guys haven't installed it and maybe understood it super well yet, that we do it from base Python so you'd have a sense of like how to do this if you're on a server or something, but like from, from the most basic, basic elements we can do this whole whole chapter problem so first off i'm on a mac right now so i'm in terminal but all you need to do uh once if you once you've installed python from chapter one let's go python make sure that we're in 365 or it doesn't really have to be three five we just want to make sure basically you're in python three maybe four or above um but you know just use the most stable current version and you'll be fine um, okay, so the first thing we wanted to do was create two numbers. So uh, any two any numbers, but with the uh, assigned the variable name num1 and num2. So remember how we create a variable. We go num1 as the variable name, use the assignment operator, and I'm going to give it this number. And I'm going to give it another number. Let's just do 5,000. And uh, we want to do like some sort of math operation to this, okay? So uh, maybe we do num1 divided by num2. Um, okay, that's a float with those numbers. Remember, because we're doing division right now, um, it would come out that way uh, because there's an uneven number there. So it dynamically changes this integer to a float. Uh, and that's the number there. Um, the other thing, and that's really just, that's task one, guys, was to create those two objects and to do some sort of math operation on them. So please do it yourself. And I'm going to save this as my result. So I'm saving the output of that uh, for maybe something I'd want to do later. Okay, so the next thing uh, I'm, I want to show you guys is the how to, how to learn about a couple of new functions for one data type. I won't go through both. Uh, but I'm going to show you the process that I did in order to, uh, to do that within base Python. Okay, so first what I did was I went help and I went into the help menu. Remember how we did that? Uh, and then what I did was I went, uh, I went help again but I put in string, the data type string, or the object type string. Oops, what did I do here? I just put string actually, there we go. I didn't need help again, that was silly. Uh, and so here we are. Um, remember that I said ignore the underscored functions here uh, because you can't use them, they're to initialize things. So just press down on our keyboard and look at all of these different things that we haven't looked at that we can use. I'm going to go and look at two particularly. So we looked at the dot lower and dot upper before, which lowercase or uppercase all of your functions. Uh, I'm going to show you about rstrip and also about title. So rstrip here uh, will uh, return a copy of the string with any white space removed. Uh, it'll also remove like special characters like uh, line breaks and tabs, which is useful if you have certain types of text. I'm also gonna show you about title, which will give a title cased version of whatever string you build. Okay, so um, that is all I wanna do because that's two functions for strings. So I'm gonna press Q to get out of the help, uh, that, that function there, and then Control D to exit out back into Python. You can also press exit, I think, in Python to, um, to, to exit the help menu. And it also tells you, you can also do this in, if you want to like uh, not go into the help menu at all. So, okay, let's create a string, uh, a string, uh, we'll go string one, one, and we'll call it um, a new string with white space like that. All right, and we'll even put in a line break and do this. Oh no, we can't do that, we'll just do that. Okay, so once we create that, we're going to go string one dot r. Let's actually just print this. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll print this like that. Like that. You see all that there. And then 
that has all the information. If we then go print, it'll show you how it represents on screen. Remember, we learned that from chapter two. We have a line break here. And now if I go print string, string one and R strip with just default, no extra parameters, all of that, that line break and the extra line space that was there is now gone. It ends at this, it ends here at the exclamation point. Um, and now I'm gonna show you string one, oh, we'll just print string one with title instead. And look at that. So it titleizes uh, your string so that every word is capitalized, okay? So one other way you could probably go about uh, doing this is if you go to, um, if you go to your face, if you go to your uh, your browser, you can like look at, um, let me let me pull one up for you. If you go to like, uh, um, help, if I Google like help string type or string functions stack overflow or Python documentation, let's go Python documentation. And it'll bring us either to our stack overflow because I'm there all the time or uh, built-in functions, and this is in Python 3.7. So you can start to see all the functions that you can use in uh, with Python and then for specific types from, from, the, uh, from the official documentation. This is a great way to look through uh, all that information as well. Okay, guys? Um, so um, with that, uh, that's basically all you need to learn for from me for the solution to this. Uh, you can go and look at integers, data types from the help menu or from the official documentation or Stack Overflow and uh, figure out a couple of functions you haven't used from there. Um, with that, thank you very much guys and see you next uh, lecture.